Hello, good morning, first graders. I'm happy to be back with you in our technology class. I'm feeling great, and I hope that you're doing well as well. Before we begin, I want to congratulate you all because of your effort and commitment in completing your assignments in a regular basis. And thank you, parents, as well, for your support. I know we have gone through many changes, but we have been able to adapt. It makes me really excited when I get to see you complete your assignments on time. So, thank you. All right, today we're going to keep on developing our coding skills in CodeSpark Academy. So if this is the first time that you sign in, you're going to click on schools, then you're going to click on students, and then you're going to use the classroom code that I just shared in this document. Otherwise, if you have tried CodeSpark before, let's just click on this green button in the middle. And right there, we're going to be able to select our user. So I will click on Mr. J, there you are. And then, right here we can see the three different modalities that we have, where we have create and explore to basically um, come up with an scene for our own, where we get to choose what the character does or what the objects are, and so on. And we have the puzzles, we're going to click on puzzles, where it's where you have your uh, weekly assignments to complete. All right, so so far we have been practicing on sequences, loops. We also had a more advanced sequences practice uh, where we combine sequences and loops together. And today we're going to be talking another concept that we find in events. And I see right there that we're going to be working with puppies. So nice. All right, so what thoughts come to your mind when you hear the word event? Probably might come a party to your mind or probably a vacation that you had. If we go to the dictionary, we may find occurrence or a happening. And honestly, its definition in the scope of programming is not at all different. So what are events? An event is a change in the state of an object. You see that that cube right here can be represented as an event because it will happen, it will move only if the two sprites right here push it. For example, if the duck doesn't push it back, then the cube isn't going back to the astronaut, let's say. Alright? So an event is an is an event, is <laughs> a change in the state of an object. One that is usually brought about as a result of some kind of interaction. It can be pressing a key on the keyboard. It can be pressing down on the left mouse. It's, it may be clicking on a button or tapping on the screen of your phone. All of the objects in question, basically. The keyboard, your mouse, the button, the, the screen on your phone. All of them have different states, right? Pressed and not pressed. Clicked and not clicked touch or untouch and so on. So according to what you decide them to do, they will perform an action in coding. So an event is basically something that happens. All right. So let's get to see what we have for today. So let's click on this green button. Da -da -da -da. And on this one, I see that we have two more extra exercises. We usually have 8 to complete, but this time we have 10. So let's take a look at the first one. Poppy problems. So this time we're moving all the way to outer space. And I see that this astronaut is taking a few poppies with her. Oh my goodness. Our blue guys over here are always causing troubles. Hey, where do you go? Okay. All right. As you can see, we have our space work. Actually, workspace over here. So we're supposed to click and drag this button. Let's see what it does. All right. So I have one, two, and three. Basically, right here, this is our move button. If you click right here, you're going to see that you have the four different directions that we can try. But this time we're moving to the right three times for us to reach the poppy. So let's click on the astronaut 
And just like that, we got the first one. There you are. <laughs> All right, so let's see what uh, our second problem might be about. Hmm. All right, so the first thing that we're supposed to do every time that we face any different situation uh, in Code Spark is that we get to analyze the situation. For example, what role can I take for us to get to the puppy? All right, I see that I'm supposed to come to to pick up two diamonds right so that means that I'm supposed to move twice to the right one and two and then one up to get to the pop so what I'm going to try in this case is that I will click and drag my three different move blocks and I will select right this is okay then the second one is right, okay. And then the third one is supposed to go north, up. So we'll click on the arrow below and then at the top. Now that I think that my code is ready to roll, I will press on the astronaut to trigger my program. And just like that, we got to the puppy. <laughs> All right, so let's try the last one together so you get to work on your own. Remember that you might face situations when you're supposed to debug. And what is debugging and coding? Looking for mistakes in our code for us to be able to run it properly. All right, so going back to our loop button right here, remember that a loop button allows us to repeat certain actions for a specific amount of times, okay? Now, if we take a look, we have 11 um, diamonds to pick up but we're not going to be clicking and dragging 11 buttons for us to try so what we're going to do is that we're going to click and drag this loop button and then we're going to only click and drag one move block now take a look what are we supposed to move left or right since we're standing right here we're supposed to go to the right so it's all is already pointing at the right. Now, your load button gives you different options. The maximum move, amount of move that you have is five, but also you can try uh, this loop right here that give you unlimited amount of steps. So I will try that because I see that my steps go beyond five. So right here, we click on the astronaut and there you are, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yay! <laughs> Just like that, we got to reach our puppy. Oh, right there you have a new feature that you are going to be trying in the next level. Alright guys, so from now on you are going, you are supposed to complete the missing ones. In this case you have 10 activities to complete. We were taught together three of them. I hope that you have fun. But also, also keep in mind that events will occur every time that you uh, have a preset um, action, let's say. For example, if you don't uh, select the loop button or click on the, the astronaut to start your program, it will never happen, okay? So keep in mind that events are, are basically actions that happen. I hope that you enjoyed this activity and you learned a lot of practicing on this site. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.